Hey everyone. Today we're going to try and take a picture like this in a cloudy, overcast, ugly day and turn it into something that looks realistically sunny and bright and nice. So uh, I took this picture a couple weeks ago. I had to take it, get a few shots of this building. The only day I could go was really overcast and ugly and this is what I came out with. Um, it's really boring, gray, sort of flat looking image. Uh, and I want to do whatever I can to make it look sunny and bright and commercial and nice. So uh, what I have pulled up here is a example of a nice sunny bright image. Um, obviously taken at a different location, but this we'll sort of use as a reference to compare uh, how we're doing. So the first thing um, that I notice uh, when it comes to sunny days versus cloudy days, it's a combination of the lighting and the colors involved. So if we look at this picture, the greens, the reds are very vibrant, very bright. Even the blues, of course, of the sky and the buildings, they sort of pop the yellow. Um, and of course, the whites are bright white. If you look at the boathouse, the whites are not don't have that glowing quality that we're looking for. The greens look flat and dark. Um, it's just drab by comparison. So uh, another thing is the lighting itself. Ignoring the, the color. Let's do that for a second. If we look at just the lighting values, there's a lot of contrast in a sunny day. So your shadows, if you look at all your foliage, you have a nice mix of really dark parts in the trees and lighter parts, right? Especially down here, these are really dark shadows and these are much brighter areas. Um, the shadows that the furniture casts are nice and sharp and dark. And that happens with any sunny day because you have pretty much harsh lighting from one spot in the sky. Uh, on a cloudy day, the whole sky becomes a light source instead of just one point. So you get very soft light. Um, let's diffuse this again. We don't get those highlights in our foliage. Our trees just look like one solid color almost. You don't get those strong darks against the, the lighter, well-lit leaves. Um, even the water, you don't have any bright reflections. It's all sort of one color. So that's the main thing that contributes to it looking so flat and boring. So we're gonna work on that. A big tool that you'll be using a lot for this is the dodge tool. And specifically, we're gonna be working on the highlights. Uh, exposure varies depending on what you're trying to do. But a big part of contributing to the brightness of the image that we're looking for is really making those highlights blow up. Let's start out with just brightening the trees and the water and the whites. So just a few passes over the grass and already we're looking way brighter. Even the rocks, you could do it to the rocks. Almost everything. And we're already getting a big jump in brightness. The sky, of course. We're going to play with the sky later. Get it to a bluer tone. Right now we're just brushing um, with the dodge brush and just getting our highlights a little more vibrant. Bring the exposure down a little. All right, huge improvement already, I think. Now to get those dark shadows in the trees, we'll be doing the opposite of the dodge, which is the burn tool. And instead of highlights, we're gonna be working on shadows. We're gonna burn the shadows. It's not, keep your exposure down. Definitely below like 15, I like to go maybe like eight. 
because you can just do multiple passes. And now we're starting to get that contrast that we had in the sunny picture that we want to emulate. Okay, it's not bad. Maybe brighten this up a little bit more. Okay, what else can we do? Um, well, let's talk about the sky. Um, first thing you'd have to do is get a good mask of the sky, which is tricky because parts of our roof here are white and this part here with these holes are going to be a bit of a mess. So I'm holding shift while I click to add to the selection. And if I click something unintentionally, you can hold alt or option to remove from the selection. So let's say I added this rock here and I don't want it. I will hold option and just click that away. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nope, I lost my whole damn thing. Let's go back a few steps. There we go. I like having history open here because I, I tend to use that a lot. There. Okay. So let's go to select, uh, refine edge. Let's see what we have here. Keep on black, but I'm going to do yeah, I don't want to use it. I don't want to include this. So if I select that, what does that do? Great. So this brush I'm not entirely sure how this tool works, this brush, but it sort of makes Photoshop, like reconsider and reevaluate the areas that you brush over. So that's that's a pretty good start, I think. We can work with that and we'll fine tune it later. Let's invert this by holding Shift Command or Control I. And we're going to make this a mask. So now we have no sky. And first we'll try making our own sky. And if that doesn't work, we'll pull one off the internet. So I like to go subtle with my sky. So I just pick a nice light, like not strong blue sunny day sky, but just something a little less than pure white. And I'll try a gradient. up let's go like this all right that's pretty good now you see here we have some white that I missed so we'll uh, let's see, take some of these parts leaves are a big pain um, it's really hard to get rid of the white areas completely so those things that I selected I'm gonna make fill them with black on the mask uh, and that will let the blue shine through take a few other more noticeable areas and take these and fill these with black as well and that's a bit better we still have some white spots we'll maybe deal with that later um, and that's already looking pretty, a lot better than it was for sure. Let me see, I'm going to try to burn the roof a little more. So we get more, even more contrast in here and dodge the highlights of the roof. down here anywhere that just looks like it's missing some light 
Now this still looks kind of crappy. Um, hmm. We could take this blue to option U and sort of fine tune the color. Turn the saturation up. Is that working here? Yeah. Turn the lightness down a little bit. See, like, that to me is already too fake. So you want to keep it light, keep it subtle to make it believable. Let's compare to our sunny picture. Now one trick that you can do is to make a blurred layer. So you're not really looking at the detail, you're just looking at the, the overall color tones. You can see our greens have a lot of yellow in them. Um, the sky is really punchy, but I don't want to go that route with this because I just don't think it'll look realistic. Let's see, maybe we could burn the gradient a little bit. Let's see, so we'll add a little black up here. Whoa, way too much. Color burn. Really light opacity, like a 35. Yeah, there you go. Now we got a little bit more blue. Could even go a little bit at an angle like this. It's kind of cool. Um, what else? Our greens. These greens on the right side, to me, match these sort of green yellows pretty well. But the ones here on the left could use some help. So what can we do about that? Um, one way would be to create a layer on top. We'll do a really soft brush and get a nice strong yellow. Let's try something like that, maybe a little more orange. Go big with the brush. We'll just do a few passes like that. And now we'll set. The, we'll try some different things here. Let's try linear burn. Uh, not crazy about it. Color burn. That's a little better. I think uh, color burn was our best result. And I'm gonna again use Apple U. Maybe just tone down the saturation just a little bit. So now we have that. And that's a nice, subtle improvement. It's, it's rubbing off a little bit on the building here. So I'm gonna just get rid of this. Yep, 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 yep. And on the skies. All right, that's pretty good. All right. And if you ask me, that is uh, pretty much it. Let's flat. Let me show you a before and after. So I'll take a snapshot. Now this is what we started with. And this is our after. So is it 100% convincing? Not exactly. And I could use some fine tuning with the white spots in the leaves and up here with the roof, but you get the idea. And I think it's a big improvement. So hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, look out for more tutorials. Thanks. Take care.